everybody. Erica here with One Berkshire, and I'm joined here with the team from CATA, Community Access to the Arts. Wave, everybody. Hey. So we're going to do a fun tour today because we're at a new gallery opening that is happening here in Cultural Pittsfield. We're going to talk to Margaret first, and then we're going to go visit with each of these folks back here along our little tour. So, mm -hmm. Margaret, we're going to start with you. I'm trying to get behind us the background. So you are opening a new exhibit today called, or not today, you opened it already, called I Am Part of Art. That's right, I'm a part of art. And so we're going to go around and see little pieces of this, but before we do that, I want you guys to meet Margaret if you haven't yet. Um, I want to say a couple things about her. First of all, hold up this award. Woo. So as everybody knows, because you've been watching these videos, we're still open for trendsetter nominations. And Margaret and Kata won a past Trendsetter Award. That's right. Nonprofit of the yes. Year. That's right. So exciting. You'll be in great company if you are nominated for an award this year. Nominations close tomorrow, so this is your last chance. Don't hesitate. Get the awards in. That's right. And so now let's hear some of the great things that you guys do that helped you win this award. So yes. talk to me a little about Kata, and we're going to go for a little walk here through the gallery. All right, all right. Uh, so Kata is an arts organization whose mission is to nurture and celebrate the creativity of people with disabilities through the arts. We work with 700 people with disabilities all across Berkshire County from as far south as you can go to as far north as you can go and then we're also in uh, Columbia County a little bit too. Wow. Yeah. It's quite a reach. It is. It is. And we, we uh, provide workshops uh, over... What, 1,000 arts workshops annually wow. in both the visual and the performing arts. So modern dance, tap dance, theater, creative writing, yoga, juggling, singing, drumming, and of course the visual arts, painting, drawing, sculpture. Which we'll be seeing today. That's right. That's awesome. right. Yeah. Uh, collaboration is really key to our model. Nice. We work with 49 different partner organizations, agencies, day habilitation, programs, residences, and schools in order to reach as many Kata artists as possible. So one of the things I love about Berkshire County is the collaboration. We're such a collaborative community here. Everybody seems to work well together and we can all raise our impact by collaboration. That's absolutely yeah. right. There is no way that we would be able to reach 750 Kata artists wow. without the help of all of these partners. They're really crucial to our work. And the other thing that is really crucial to our work is our collaborations with cultural organizations, which allow us to share the talents of our Kata artists with the wider community. Excellent. And so this is an example of one of, the, one of the opportunities for your artists to be on display. That's right. And if That's you right. haven't noticed as we've been walking, there are tons of pictures behind us here. There are tons. So um, this must have been quite yeah. a process to pull this show together. Over 175 works of art here, um, representing more than 150 Cata artists. Wow. Again, from all over Berkshire County and beyond. And it's really, it's a chance for our artists to not only show their technique and their artistry, but really to share their perspective with the wider community. And I think Jeff is going to tell us a little bit about this show, right? That's right. All right, so Hi Margaret, we're going to come back and say hi yeah. to you at the okay. end, okay? So this is Jeff. Hey, guys. And you are going to tell us a little bit about how this project came together. How sure. did you find 150 artists and yeah. their works of art to be displayed? So this is, this is really the culmination of a year-long uh, program in the visual arts. So as Margaret mentioned, there's 175 paintings on view, wow. um, representing around 150 artists. And um, it's really incredible. Our program runs September through May. And so throughout the, the course of the program year, we, just, we, we receive artwork from all of the artists that we work with throughout the county. And so each artist, in uh, coordination with the faculty who teach these workshops, uh, they submit artwork. And, and we are able to uh, select one or two paintings from each individual who participates in a series of visual art workshops. Excellent. And is there something about this one in particular that you were going to talk to us about? Yeah, I wanted to share with you a little bit about Connie Most's work. Uh, this is titled Bubble Bath. And huh. It's, it's done through a very specific painting technique called Artistic Realization Technologies, or ART. Uh, ART is developed by an artist, Tim Leffens, out of Princeton, New Jersey. And it involves, uh, it's a painting process designed for people with a physical limitation that prevents them from applying a paintbrush to a canvas on their own. So they work one-on-one -on -one with somebody who's trained in this process, this technique, where they literally break down each step in the creation of a painting into a yes or no question. 
Oh, so wow. it's everything from the uh, the dimensions of the canvas, the color of the paint, the texture of the paint, the size of the paintbrush, how it's applied to the canvas itself. And the tracker, really, their role is to remain neutral in the creation of the work. And they they act as the hands of the, of the artist. Wow. So yeah. you, you have an artist as a surrogate for another artist who has right. disabilities that don't allow them to do the art themselves. Right. And just like any other painter would select a new type of paintbrush and learn how to use that mm -hmm. paintbrush, these artists really learn how to use the tracker to get that creative vision onto the canvas. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, well thanks. We're gonna walk down to the next piece. Sure. So Margaret, talk to us as we're walking here. So you have a show, you have a reception coming up on Thursday. That's right. So tell There's us about the reception. Thursday from five to seven right here at the Lichtenstein. It's free, it's open to all, and it is in itself really um, an example of kata at its best. It is such a wonderfully inclusive event. We have all of our kata artists here. So the artists will be here. The artists will okay. be here. They are often stationed right by their painting and tell you how really they did it happy and, to yep. talk about their technique, um, have their photo taken sometimes. Uh, their caregivers and family members are here. Many of uh, representatives from our partner organization, setting directors, agency directors, are here as well, people from wow. the Pittsfield Public Schools and beyond. Um, so be a full room. <laughs> art lovers and art patrons too. Yes. Um, both residents and tourists. So it's a really wonderful, energetic crowd celebrating creativity and inclusion. An inclusive community. That's Excellent. Right. Yeah. So there's another piece we want to look at. So I'm going to introduce you now to Natasha. And we have a, or Natasha is the piece of artwork. This is Dawn who's <laughs> going to tell us about Natasha's artwork here. Yes, this is, um, this is a watercolor by Natasha Lorick, who is in a residence called Oak Lodge in South County. Uh, the painting is called Swimmer Half Underwater with Cap. And that? it is a, a watercolor that was done under the, the direction of Marlene Marshall, who's one of our faculty. And um, Natasha is involved in Kata as a visual artist, as a dancer, um, also as, as, a a, as a writer, <laughs> maybe soon, yeah, our synchronized swimming team if we ever have one. And also Natasha is studying ukulele at Cal oh So Natasha is a really good example of someone who is fully integrated in all of the various mediums that we work with at Cal. Awesome. So you can come see this one live too if you come on Thursday. And finally, we're with Kara here who's going to conclude our, our tour of the show. We're doing a few previews here. So uh, give us a little bit about what we're looking at here. Yeah, so I wanted to show this work up here. This was done by artists from United Cerebral Palsy um, of Berkshire County up in North Adams. And it's a, a collaboration of over 12, 15 artists um, who are exploring the properties of clay and how they could modify and alter the surface of clay tiles to change it. So that might be adding clay, removing clay, carving into it, uh, drawing on it. And that see was if I can get you a little closer so you can see some of the textures on this. It's pretty cool. If you're standing here, you might be able to see it. And then underneath us, we have five other paintings done by artists from Coark in Columbia County. And these are all done using the ART process that Jeff was talking about earlier. Excellent. So a lot of people using that technique yeah. to have better access to yeah. their ability to express. Yeah, it's important cool. technique. Cool. Yeah. So thank you. Thanks. Margaret, come conclude us here. Yes. All right, so I mean, what I heard in this little show was you've got artists from north, central, south, even beyond the Berkshires that That's are right. participating in Kata's work. So That's you guys right. are really doing an amazing job of just bringing access to such a broad population. Thank you, thank yes. you. And it's, it's so important to us to involve the entire community in this work. And that's why events like the uh, opening on Thursday are so important to us because we really want to throw open the doors and let everybody experience this vibrant creativity. I mean, these walls are really just vibrating yeah. with the creativity of 175 artists with disabilities. And we want everybody to have a chance to see this work. So come and on if, out. If people on are, are seeing this, and in addition to coming on Thursday, are there other ways people can get involved in what you do? Yes, uh, all sorts of ways. I mean, we also, I should mention, have uh, the sister exhibit to the one here at the Lichtenstein is up at the Clark Art Institute okay. at the Lender Center. And that opened earlier this month and uh, is on display through mid-August. We've got a Meet the Artists event happening there on August 2nd. So stay tuned for more about that. Um, if anyone is interested in knowing more or in getting involved, we welcome their emails, phone calls, visit our website, kataarts.org. 
O-R-G. Let there us know if you're interested in volunteering or getting involved in some other way. Excellent. And I can tell you, everybody I've met here is just so fun and vibrant that you can, if you came to help, you'd be in good community because it's people here are high energy individuals having a good time <laughs> and a, doing good work. It's a good place to be. Excellent. Yeah. All, right. All right. So Erica from One Berkshire and the whole CATA team, I'll, I'll pan around to them one more time. Signing off, and uh, hope you guys have a great day. All right, thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.